Today we're doing a stock analysis on Mullen Automotive. I haven't analyzed this company in quite some time and the last time I did I got a little bit of backlash because people didn't like the way I talked about this business and guess what folks I'm gonna double down on this trash company because that's what I like to do here I want to try to find you guys amazing businesses for great prices not this garbage look at this you got to ask yourself one question what are you possibly hoping to achieve with a company such as this honestly honestly take a look at this i have it loaded up here in the stock spec software and for those who are wondering what this does this delivers you the numbers that the company provides themselves so you have an idea of what they're doing right and what they're doing wrong here is the business guys three out of ten three out of ten there's not enough data on a lot of this of what's going on with this business and that should tell you one thing ideally you want to find companies that have been on the market for quite a little while that and two have proven themselves as a reputable business as a reputable company bringing in profits bringing in at least something mullen automotive and i'll say this clearly has done zero has done none of that here are the numbers guys their price to earnings ratio on a five-year average not available but take a look at this guys 12 months negative 0.75 eps 12 months negative 4.77 and the five-year average is negative 0.164. The return on equity, though, is on average is pretty high. Got to give it that. The debt to equity is negative, which is horrendous. There's like now pretty much no shareholder equity within this business. They've increased share counts by like look at this insane percentage, almost seven thousand percent increase in share dilution. What on earth are you possibly buying? This company hurts my head. The free cash flow is up. Guys, look, that's a positive. And the return on invested capital is incredibly high. I got to give it that. The return on equity is high. The free cash flow is high. The return on invested capital is high. And, sorry, and the free cash flow is also up. That's phenomenal. However, you have no revenue growth. The net income is nowhere to be found. Share dilution is through the roof. There's just negative numbers across the board. The free cash flow trailing 12 months is negative 0.59 million dollars on average it's negative nine million dollars their earnings come out today folks their earnings come out today before you sink any more money into this i am literally trying to help you start your new year's resolution of being a better investor off right i'm here to help you this is a rehab for you it's an intervention if you will they haven't proven anything anything I'm literally flabbergasted at the fact that people actually believe in this company. You know what this company is? This is a penny stock that people are hail marrying an attempt that they hope to God this company goes up based off no process, no due diligence. Just they hear, oh, it's an L it's an EV company, right? There's a thousand and one of these EV companies that have come and gone. And listen, it's just like the weed companies here in Canada that have come and gone when marijuana was legalized here. All these dispensary companies, everything just started shooting up out of nowhere. And uh, people just started investing into these businesses with no due diligence, just on the premise of it's popular, it's hot. It's like the dot-com bubble, all these dot-com websites it's the same thing with these electric vehicle companies they these things just sprout out of nowhere and you have no idea who's gonna stick around and who's gonna do well i guarantee it's probably not gonna be this company until they can turn themselves around but if you want to overpay for junk like this by all means i have here some estimates i've plugged into the price analysis section things that don't even appear on the board look at this revenue like I, sure I'll use these numbers from a previous evaluation just to show you how out of touch this company is. Look at that. The price of free cash flow is negative 0.183 and their PE ratio, the price to earnings ratio is negative 0.75. I'm giving them a positive price to earnings ratio, a positive price to free cash flow ratio that doesn't exist. If you're liking the video so far, folks, hit that like button and subscribe button. Usually I don't make videos like this. Usually I'm trying to be more rational, level-headed when I analyze companies. But last time I analyzed this company and I was level-headed and rational, 
People give me flack for it and try to help you guys and try to bash it into your heads a little bit. It won't even give me the analysis because everything's zero. Everything is zero. I can't physically get you an analysis. I have the income statement loaded up here, quarterly basis, zero revenue. Look at that. Net income is in is in the negative. I don't even have positive numbers. What I guys, free cash flow, twelve thousand dollars, twenty twenty one. That's a quarterly basis. Let's go. Let's go annual. Do we have free cash flow ever? Positive? No. So you're making you're buying a company that has brings in no money. It's a money pit. My software won't even calculate what's going on. Every other company I plugged into this software will spit out some sort of number if there's something to show. This company has nothing to show. There's no positive numbers. We want to find companies that have something positive about them. And if you're still watching the video and you haven't subscribed yet, my channel is literally dedicated to help you find companies that are worth your time. Help develop a process to help screen companies with a rational frame of mind. Companies like this frustrates me to no end because they are garbage investments. And that's probably what I'm going to title this thumbnail. It's going to just probably just be my face and it just says garbage. Stay away. If you're watching the earnings and you're watching this company, it is worth less than what it's currently being priced at. And let's, look, maybe one day I'll be wrong. And maybe one day this company will actually show something. Anyways, folks, that's the video. Much love and respect. I will see you in the next one. And uh, yeah, follow the channel. There's a lot better companies out there that you can potentially invest in. Don't buy this.